Okay, let me try this again. And my lines are kind of rough lines. And I know I'm hanging a weight, but you could lay this out on a table without measuring weight at all and measure the distance traveled to get mechanical advantage just as well as you can measure the load. Uh, if you measure the distance, you take out the friction factor. And we're not measuring friction in any of this. In a frictionless system, the tension is going to be the same on both sides of the rope. So, okay, so let me talk about all these lines are right, are lined up right now, right? So, if I take it like this, no mechanical advantage. Goes up to this line, comes back down. I do both hands, no mechanical advantage. All right, so right hand comes down to this bottom line. It lines up. You can see that. There is a mechanical advantage, two to one mechanical advantage. Line them back up. Do the same thing, left hand, two to one mechanical advantage. And that was doing them at different times. So what if I do this one to there and the left hand to here, getting the load to the same point? But I've used mechanical advantage, right? I used mechanical advantage on the right side to get it most of the way to the point, And then mechanical advantage on the left side to get it to the point. So now... Let's do this at the same time. And I've used mechanical advantage on my right hand and on my left hand to get to the load to the same point. But the ratio of the work that was done, the right hand did more than the left hand. Mechanical advantage did not change.